<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? Jeff here. Um, so earlier you probably saw that I posted uh, some pictures and a flyer for um, the upcoming production I have coming up, The Wedding Singer at Exit 7 Theater. Um, it's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to share, I'm going to share with you guys what exactly I'm using here in a minute, but, um, going to tell you something right now, get your tickets as soon as you can exit seven theater. Just Google that, bring you right to the website. I think it's exit seven players.com. I don't really quite remember the website, but I get you tickets cause they're already starting to go and you don't want to miss this one out because this is going to be an amazingly fun production. I'm so looking forward to it. And uh, what what I think is uh, pretty cool about this is um, when it premiered on Broadway, and yes, to answer your question, it is based off the Adam Sandler uh, movie, The Wedding Singer. Um, but I think back in 2006, it premiered on Broadway, and the the guy who played the le the lead, Robbie Hart, on Broadway was the very talented and very funny comedian, Stephen Lynch. The guy who sings Superhero and all those really fucked up songs. Uh, he did Broadway, and I think that's why this production means a little bit more to me. And from what I found out earlier today, he's coming to Holyoke. He's doing a, he's doing a tour, and he's going to come to Holyoke, I believe, in May. Yeah, next month. So uh, I'm going to have to go to that and bring Mandy with me. Um, so yeah, um, but like I said, it's been, uh, it's been about, uh, two years since I've done a musical. Last one I did was, uh, the Adams family at Springfield college. And then literally a week later, COVID hit. And so I haven't done any theatrical or musical productions. And I'm, of course I've been busy with the archangels. We're still, uh, getting ready to do our, um, our late spring, early summer, uh, shows and everything like that. So we're working on that, working on some music. So it's nice to, you know, branch off from that and and uh, do something else I really love. So and uh, yeah, so let me uh, explain to you exactly um, what I got here, what I'm using. And uh, I'll probably post more clips uh, when I'm at the theater. I have rehearsals uh, next upcoming week. In two week next two weeks, I have upcoming rehearsals. So two weeks from tonight, it premieres. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Come see me, come say hi. And, uh, of course, you know, anyone that you know that's in the cast, you know, come see them. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so let's uh, let, let's go over this beast. So, <clears throat> in the picture I sent earlier, um, this is, uh, really, this is really more my first hybrid setup I've been using. I'm, I'm using this time around. I have been using in the past um, those low volume symbols, the Sabian quiet tones, that's a ride. I got the hats over on the other side. But I didn't really care for the sound for them. For this particular production, I want to use real symbols. So I ended up just stealing some from uh, Cheesecake, my big drum set back there. It's kind of behind everything right now. And uh, I'm using some real symbols here. So I'm only using for electronics, the kick Three toms, two crashes, and a side pad over here. And the rest is all acoustic, tambourine, cowbell, hats, snare, splash, and a ride. So, reason why I'm not using a full acoustic set is, well, for several reasons. One, um, there actually are two different uh, drum sets, uh, the brain um has programmed for the show. I actually have to use two different drum sets. Just one other drum set for a different song, and the rest is just this setup. The other reason is the uh, electronic kick, I can control it a little bit better. A kick drum can either be very, very, depending on the, you know, the environment. It's a small theater, so I don't want to overdo it with anything. So I'm using um, the electronic kick and kind of keeping that in check with the rest of the setup here. So, uh, let's go over uh, what exactly I'm using. I'm using an Alesis drum set with a DM10 Alesis brain. <clears throat> and that includes um, two 10-inch pads, a 12-inch pad, 
I'm not exactly sure of the size, but this is the bigger pad that's acted as a floor tom. And then a crash here, and a crash here. And this pad is uh, doubling as a cross stick sound and a side stair. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Um, so that's it for the electronic. Oh, and uh, an Alisa's kick with a Tama uh, Speed Cobra pedal. Again, taken off of uh, Cheesecake. That was uh, on one of my bass drums. And, uh, right, so that's it for electronic drums. Other electronic stuff is going to include this little guy here. This is my very old Samson CQ8 headphone amp. Uh, during one of the songs, it actually calls for a drum machine. So my iPad has a drum machine sample. I have to play back on it. So I'm going to pump it through that and pump it through my PA speaker I have back here. This is a uh, Electrovice PA speaker. And uh, this is what you're going to hear uh, with that iPad drum machine. And the electronic components will be coming through the PA. And then the acoustic stuff, well, you'll just hear that naturally. And it will just have to blend the two uh, when we do sound check. So that's that for electronics. And I'll start from the left here. So I'm going to be bringing my little uh, <laughs> you know, cheese wedge table here i made it to match uh my cheesecake uh looking drum set over there uh, you, you guys see plenty of pictures and videos of that in the past but i want a nice little side table and being inspired by other drummers having side tables i made this uh last summer and uh yeah so it's gonna come with me to the show it's really useful holds my stick bag a little pouch here i have two drink holders this will probably go on like another table or something Got a little pouch here. I can put a drum key here. Nice little pouch here. I can put my stuff in. And then, uh, yeah. And uh, it's re really sturdy. It doesn't go anywhere. So uh, that will come with me. And then I got a lap percussion tambourine. I uh, used that for a couple songs. Uh, a Rhythm Tech um, Studio Series Cowbell. I had to put tape on it to uh, lessen the brightness of it. So uh, that happened. So... That's that. And then uh, these are probably the newest um, thing I've gotten recently, uh, the AAX Stage Hats. Um, really like the sound of these. They're not too, um, they're not too aggressive. And they're thinner hats than I'm used to using. So uh, these are going to be used for the show. And then I need a splash for accents and things. I got to do some chokes because I can choke with this symbol here, but... It doesn't sound good, so I, I want to choke with a real symbol. So I got my uh, Sabian uh, Mike Portnoy Max Splash. This is a 9-inch splash. Very glassy and thin. This thing is like super thin. I'm just, uh, it's bending already. It's great. I love the sound of this thing. <clears throat> so I got that, and then I got uh, some a vintage ride. <laughs> I mean, not vintage vintage, but the Pro Sonics by Sabian. They, they don't make these anymore. It's been maybe, ooh, it's been a minute. Um, I did throw a uh, drum, a little sticky dot on here again, just to knock down some of the overtones of the cymbal. <clears throat> and then uh, we finally come to the snare. Uh, so this is a 12-inch Ludwig Accent snare drum. Um, I picked this up um, <laughs> on Craigslist. Someone was just throwing away this kid-sized drum set. And uh, I got I got it originally, and I'm like, I'll fix it up and maybe, you know, teach my step kid to play. And well, they're playing the big set anyways. And I had this kicking around, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna use this for the gig. So I threw uh, an older head on it, and uh, yeah, so that's that, and it does the job. Um, I'll explain what this is in a minute, but this is a drum G, basically a bungee cord that clamps onto the rim. I'll explain what that is in a minute. So we got the snare, and then, uh, yeah, I explained all the acoustic stuff. And then for sticks, <clears throat> um, depending on what, uh, how loud I'm allowed to be, I'll use my uh, Promark MP420 uh, wrap sticks, or I'll use these. Now, these I saw being advertised, and um, I figured I'd get them, give them a try. But these are the Adoro Silent Sticks. Basically, they are a cross between a normal drumstick and hot rods. 
they're right in the middle so I might end up using these I don't know yet but they are definitely a bit more articulate than hot rods and that's why I like about these but without the volume so depending on how loud earthen is I might end up just using these um Okay, so what the drum G is for. So um, if I need to do some dampening, I throw a towel on there. I can stick a towel underneath there, and it won't go anywhere. But more importantly, what I'm using um, the drum G for is for the, uh, for, the, for, the second, for the second drum set. <clears throat> I have programmed in the brain. And what that is, it's an electronic-y type of sound. <sighs> so, but we're playing that... Um, a snare drum will sound just like a snare drum. And I wanted some sort of electronic-y uh, sounding type of snare. So, again, using the drum sheet and taking an old POS splash cymbal, throwing it there. Now, you get a bit of an electronic sounding snare, but it's all acoustic. Well, that's not the electronic set. The electronic set is 101. So there you have that. So that's why I'm using the drum G and I'm going to throw that splash symbol on there. Um, so that, that was the electronic set I was just demonstrating there. And again, very electronic-y sounding. And again, the side snare, almost like a clap snare type of thing. So that's uh, used for one song, and then we dial it back to uh, my normal, this is going to be the set you're going to hear throughout 99% of the show, and this is your kick, your toms, and you got your crash, and then this here, so <laughs> this is my my cross stick sound, because doing it on here, I wasn't too happy with the sound of it. I want something a little bit more cleaner. So I use this. So that's what that is. And yeah, so I think that's about it, guys. Oh, I got my, you know, two music stands, uh, two stand lights, because I have two books I gotta use. Um, that's about it. And then, you know, I got a little bit of power coming to me. Everything's going to be going through my power conditioner. I'll plug that in. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, hope you guys got a kick out of this video about what I'm going to be using for the wedding singer at Exit Zone Theater in Ludlow. Two weeks from tonight's open night. We run for three weekends. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching, guys.